you guys welcome to another one of my videos in this video I'm going to run through a system idea that I've recently implemented for a customer the customer wanted somewhere that invoices could be submitted from their sites into their DocUS system without the users having to either email them without them having to be part of their network and without them having to have a DocuWare license or use DocuWare in any way. This proved to be quite problematic initially, um, but with some playing and some fun within DocuWare, using make.com, we were able to get this solution to work for the customer. What I'm gonna to do today is show you how to build that solution, how that would look in DocuWare and make.com, and give you basically a full tutorial walkthrough of that working. First of all, go through my DocuS setup. I've got an invoices document tray. This document tray has intelligent indexing turned on. Currently, I have just a regular finance filing cabinet. This one's got nothing in it. And that's it in my system. What I'm gonna to use to get this to work is a DocuS web form. I'm gonna use a second filing cabinet for the submissions of those web forms. And I'm gonna use make.com. So first of all, I'm going to go to configurations, set up my second filing cabinet, my invoice submissions. I'm not going to need full text, color doesn't really matter. And because you can't create a filing cabinet without one, I'm just going to create a single field. Let's call it document number. Again, it doesn't really matter, it can be anything. We're not actually going to use the field for anything. We just have to create a filing cabinet with at least one field. Next, next and finish. I've now got my invoice submissions filing cabinet. Next, I'm going to go to DocuF forms. I'm going to create a new DocuF form. Call it invoice submissions. I'm not going to bother about the aesthetics of the form in this video. I'm just going to show you it working. Add an attached file. The maximum file count to one. Make that required. And under the submissions, I'm just going to use a web form and my output is going to be to the invoice submissions filing cabinet. Indexing doesn't really matter, but call it whatever you want from in there. And permissions, and this is really key. One, make it so our admin user can use the form. Two, under public form, tick the box. Under configure, type in your username and a password for that account. Click validate credentials, get a success pop up. Click OK, save, publish, and I now have my invoice submission form ready to use. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to go to make.com, create a new scenario, click the plus, search for webhooks. If you've not set up make.com before, if you've not used a webhook before, please check out my other make.com videos. Um, there's full guides on how to set all of this up. Um, there's a link to create an account with make. Um, so yeah, feel free to follow those. I'm just gonna show as if you know what how to do this within this video. So I'm gonna go webhooks, custom webhook, add, and give it a name. Okay, I'm then going to go and set my webhook up. Do this, I'm going to copy the address to clipboard, go to document workflow designer, create a new workflow, call it the invoice submission, choose the correct cabinet. Trigger is going to be for new documents and do 
again, whatever trigger, you just need to trigger it for every single document that's going into that cabinet. Sort if a doc ID is not empty. Click OK. Type in my password. I'm going to trigger in this workflow. Go to web service. Choose my make.com web service. Quest method is going to be post. Root is going to be the suffix to that web service that I copied. Again, this is covered in other videos, so please have a look at those if, you, if you're not sure what to do here. Under the HTTP body, doesn't really matter what I put here, um, but what I am going to do, well, I say it doesn't matter, what we actually need here is the doc ID for the document. So, open squiggly brackets, new line, speech mark, doc number, speech mark, colon, speech marks again. Within those speech marks, I'm going to do the doc ID. I don't want any commas or anything on the end. New line and close those squiggly brackets. Click OK. Join everything up on my web workflow. Save and publish. And that's the workflow set up. From here, I'm going to go back in the web service, go to my request, into the body, under the doc ID, just put any value in there. Go to make, set make to run once, back to my workflow, and send a test post into the workflow. You should get a state of 200 OK accepted back. If you get anything else back, just check um, that your web service is running again. You have clicked run once and the web service is active. I go back into Make. What I now have is within Make, I now have document number of one that's been received from my web service. So that I want to add a module. I want to choose DocuAir. I want to delete a file. I've already got my DocuAir connection ready. Go to my invoice submission filing cabinet. Document ID. I want to map to the doc number from the webhook. File position is always going to be number one. OK on that. And move everything to the left. Give me a bit more space. Next, I'm going to choose DocuAir again. And this time, I'm going to choose Transfer a Document. And source Filing Cabinet slash Document Tray ID here is going to be again the filing cabinet that the document is being submitted into. I want to select the target filing cabinet is going to be my intelligent indexing document tray. Store dialog doesn't really matter. I'm not storing in here. Document IDs that I want to transfer over. Again, the document number. Keep source document, no. Use intelligent indexing data for indexing fields, no. Everything's OK there. Click OK. And that's it for our make configuration. So if we now save. Activate our scenario. Go to our document form. Open our document form up. Attach a sample invoice and click submit. You'll see our form submit successfully. 
If we go to make.com, you'll see under the history, I've got a success. If I go to my DocUS system, refresh my invoices document tray, I now have my invoice here ready to be intelligent index. If I look at my invoice submission filing cabinet, I'm going to quick refresh there, you'll see the document isn't in this cabinet anymore. And that is how you create an invoice submission portal using docuf forms and make.com. Thanks for watching.